Hello everyone! The creation of a print product requires many linked procedural steps. Hybrid software helps you to make these processes highly efficient. From the input of the print data to the output of the print-ready files and the presetting of data for the corresponding printing press. The job data can either be taken from an ERP system or created directly via the menu, as in this example. A few essential entries such as the job number, item number, paper width, and height are sufficient to create a job. In addition, the machine type on which the job is to be printed later can already be selected here. Based on the selected machine, the correct mark sets as well as the screen settings are automatically applied in the later process. We now see that the job has already been created. If necessary, the order can be provided with further information, but it does not have to. As already mentioned, the existing information is already sufficient to produce the order. Let's now take a look at our tool database. Here you can see that there is no file for this tool number yet. Via the upload menu, the appropriate CF2 file can now be uploaded. Now we come to the data delivery. Also here there is an upload function. I can provide the file with additional information, which is helpful for the later assignment to an item. If known, I can also already add the customer item number and then upload the delivered file. The file now appears here in the list. We now see that in addition to the upload, an automatic check of the file has already been done and we see that there is a warning here. With one click, the file can be opened directly in the web browser. With proof scope, the file can be visually inspected very easily. On the one hand, the pre-flight report can be displayed here, and as in this case, we receive information about the content of a QR code. We have the option of a separation preview and can therefore see that a technical separation is still set to knock out here. And we have access to further quality measurement tools, such as a density meter to measure the color at any point in the document. Finally, I now release this file for the further process and link it to a production item that I created at the beginning. In this way, the process of data delivery is already finished. A look into the tool database tells me that a PDF template was created from the uploaded CF2. I confirm here that this is correct. We now come to the editing of the item. Here we have the possibility to access the file system directly from the browser. As you can see here, the file storing is fully automated, which of course saves time and also avoids errors. With one click, I now transfer the file to the OneUp editing in the PAX PDF editor. The file is accessed directly via the link. This ensures that I'm editing the correct file. Depending on the requirements, I can now take care of the technical preparation of the file. For example, this technical separation should still be set to overprinting. I can check the change immediately via the view options. Typically, a varnish form still has to be created. I can create such a varnish form with a few clicks using the specially designed white underprint menu. Here I see that this shape was created in an extra layer. Afterwards, I can set the separation type here to varnish and for better visibility, I color this whole separation a little bit. Depending on your needs, you could do a lot more to the file at this point. This always depends on how complex the artwork is and for which printing process the file should be prepared. As soon as the file has been saved, I can transfer it directly from PAX into the further process. After editing, a quality control is performed. This button now opens proof scope again, this time, however, in comparison mode. This means that the original file is compared with the file just edited and the difference is visually highlighted. I have several possibilities how the whole thing should be displayed. 
The goal is to determine that no unintentional changes have been made. Here I notice that the change is only present in the creasing and varnish separation that I have previously edited. With confirmation of the approval, the item process is now also complete and we can take a look at the print job. We see that the associated items and tool data are ready and can now start the creation of the step and repeat file. As soon as the creation of the form is complete, I can visually inspect it in proof scope. Here I can see that the machine specific control strips and print marks have been applied automatically. With the approval of the step and repeat, the creation of the one bit TIFFs has now started. Now the one bit TIFFs are also rendered and for quality control, I can open them again directly from the web browser in proof scope. Here I can use the quality measuring tools to measure the screen ruling and the screen angles. I can also do this individually for each separation, either in the print image or in the applied control strips. I then confirm the approval and thus the entire process from the incoming data to the creation of the screened step and repeat form is complete. <laughs>